Stay tuned after this video for post-reading questions and educational activities. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click Lauren Martin Books below the video to browse over 200 more read-along stories and early childhood phonics and math videos. Click the Amazon link to buy the book or leave an unverified review. As we read, think as always about how you can apply this book to your own life. Today, we are reading Going Places by Paul and Peter Reynolds. Raphael had been waiting all year long for the Going Places contest, a chance to build a go-kart, race it, and win. When their teacher announced who would like the first kit, Raphael's hand shot up. The rest of the class watched enviously as Raphael walked back to his seat with a kit. Mrs. Shanda assured them, don't worry, you'll all be getting one. And they're all exactly alike. The kit came with a set of precise instructions. That made Raphael happy. He was very good at following directions. Raphael hammered, glued, nailed, and assembled his kit. His go-kart looked just like the one in the directions. He was feeling quite proud. Raphael wondered how his classmate Maya was doing. She lived right next door. He peered over the fence. Hey, Maya, you haven't even started? Maya didn't respond. She was so intent on watching the bird in front of her and quickly sketching it that she didn't even notice Raphael. Then she just put down her pencil and stared at the bird dreamily. Raphael shrugged and let her be. The next morning, Raphael checked back in to see how Maya was doing. Wow, what is that? He asked. Maya grinned. Do you like it? Raphael responded slowly. Yeah, extremely cool, but uh, Maya, there's just one little problem. That's not a go-kart. Maya smiled. Who said it had to be a go-kart? Raphael was confused. The set of instructions inside the box were for a go-kart, but then again, they didn't say it had to be a go-kart. He looked again at Maya's contraption. After a moment, he grinned. I get it. Hey, Maya, I really want to win this race. The instructions never said we couldn't team up either. And so they did, working late into the evening. The next day, everyone gathered for the big race. Each go-kart was a perfect replica of the other. Except one. One of the kids laughed. Looks like you had trouble with the going places instructions. You're going places, all right. You're going to lose. Maya and Raphael didn't even have time to respond because the announcer's big, boomy voice called out, Attention racers, start your engines, four, three, two, one. A buzzer sounded, and they're off. While all the other go-karts disappeared in a cloud of dust, Maya just sat there in their motionless vehicle. Raphael shouted over the roar of engines and cheering crowds, Maya, what are we waiting for? No worries, Raphael, Maya answered. Flaps down, throttle up. And now they took off, off into the air. The other contestants looked up in amazement. Maya and Raphael hovered and then sped past them all. Before long, Maya and Raphael coasted across the finish line to the cheers of the waiting crowd. Finish. They kept rolling clear across the race grounds. Maya slammed the brakes, stopping just short of the lake at the edge of the school field. Raphael noticed a startled frog leap from a lily pad and dive into the water. He raised his eyebrow and looked at Maya. She smiled. Raphael, are you thinking of what I'm thinking? Raphael just nodded. To all the great thinkers who have gone above and beyond, and especially to, to Dan LeClerc, our 10th grade social studies teacher who dared us to have original ideas. How can you apply this book to your own life? What original ideas do you have or do you want to take time to come up with? What did Raphael and Maya create at the end of the book? What unique and creative ideas can you brainstorm right now? Use paper and drawing materials or the notepad on your phone or device to draw or write about an idea that you have. This can be a real or imagined invention that helps solve a daily inconvenience or problem or brings your dreams to life. 
Brainstorm new sports, games, or ways to use old toys or household items to create new fun games and activities, like building a fort or robot out of boxes, or using kitchen utensils to paint or make Play-Doh creations. You can also create paintings, stories, recipes, and anything you can imagine. The possibilities are endless. For more ideas and free resources, browse my blog at laurenmartinbooks.com. Please like, subscribe, share, and click Lauren Martin Books below this video to enjoy more read-along videos. You can also review this book on Amazon even if you don't buy it and it will simply show up without the verified purchase stamp. Clip, click the Amazon link below the video to buy the book or support the author by leaving an unverified review. Thank you for reading with me.